In this video, I'm going to show you how to set your Scala as the playback engine inside Pro Tools. This means that we'll be able to record inputs through the Scala into Pro Tools, and we'll be able to listen back to what's playing from Pro Tools through either headphones or speakers connected to our Scala. Ensure that you have your Scala connected to your computer via USB and powered on, and then open Pro Tools. You'll now see a dialog box similar to this where you're able to name your session, choose where you'd like to save the session, and more. Once you've made your selections, press Create. Now that Pro Tools is open, select Setup, Playback Engine. Under the Playback Engine drop-down menu, you need to have your Scala interface selected. If you select your Scala from the drop-down menu, then Pro Tools will automatically close and restart. If your Scala is already selected, then you're good to go. You're also able to select whether you'd like to optimize the playback engine for recording or playback. And essentially, this is a choice between using a low buffer size, the recording option, or a high buffer size, the playback option. The buffer size is the time that's given to your software to process and play back the contents of your session. And when I say the contents of your session, I mean the audio and MIDI tracks, plugins and effects in this session. The benefit of using a low buffer size is that you get a lower recording latency. In other words, you get less of a delay between what you're playing or singing and hearing it back in the headphones. The downside of using a low buffer size is that you give your software less time to process the contents of your session and this can lead to audio dropouts and glitches on playback. The benefit of using a higher buffer size is that you give your software more time to process the content in your session, meaning that you're far less likely to experience audio dropouts and glitches on playback. The downside of setting a higher buffer size is that you get a higher recording latency. However, we'll be tackling the issue of recording latency by using something called direct monitoring which we'll explain later if you choose to view the recording tutorials. For this reason, we recommend that you use a high buffer size by selecting playback, which means that you're far less likely to experience audio dropouts and glitches when listening back to your audio than if you'd set a low buffer size by selecting recording. Your Scala is now set up as the playback device for Pro Tools. We'll now show you how to start creating music using your Scala inside Pro Tools.